Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, How Now Videos. We're gonna basically take some CAD details today and bring them into Revit. So what I have going on in my project is uh, some elevations of some doors uh, tied together with a door schedule and window schedule, and then with some elevations of windows. And I wanna bring in some details on how those windows and doors would meet the wall. So for example, in this door jam detail, you can see the casing on the door here in the jam um, and how that would get tied in with a brick tie in let's say a CMU block, uh, CMU block wall. So I wanna bring this AutoCAD file in. So what I've done is I've gone to RCAT and uh, it's a free, no login, um, really, really nice resource to use. And what I did is I downloaded the DWG file uh, from them and I saved that to my desktop. So in Revit, what I'm going to do here is up in view, we're going to do a drafting view. So I'm going to go to drafting view and we're going to name this and a typical uh, scale for a detail could be an inch equals a foot, three quarter inch equals a foot, uh, is maybe a little light, inch and a half equals a foot would also be pretty common. I'm gonna up this one to inch and a half. And we're gonna call this uh, door head detail. Uh, tip, the typical. And uh, we're gonna kind of bring in sort of a generic detail for this one. Um, and then we're gonna say, okay. And so it basically just gives us a blank sheet of paper. And on this blank sheet of paper, we're gonna go over to insert and then we're gonna import uh, CAD. And in import CAD, I'm gonna search for where I had saved this. And so I have uh, quite a few files here going on. Here's my head detail. I changed it to black and white. And uh, auto detect should work, but you could also change it if you want. Levels is fine. Current view only is important. Origin to origin is good. If it's a good CAD file, that should work out well. Uh, all this is fine. Uh, top of footing doesn't really matter uh, for this case and we're gonna say open and so here I have the file uh, comes in kind of as a block and so you can see I got this from the steel door Institute and I'm going to click on that and explode it and then from here uh, we can go and we can take out um, some information that we might not need to show uh, in our project. I might even want to consider taking out all this text and dimensions and redimensioning it later with mine. Um, so I'll probably leave it for right now and then eventually go through and detail this out uh, how I want it to be detailed. So as of right now, I'm going to pay tribute uh, to Steel Door Institute, but also um, take it out for these set of plans here uh, since it's for a uh, just a school project. And then from here, uh, I could keep these notes in here and once again when I delete out this and do my own dimensions I'll fix that. Alright, so now we have this. It's at the scale we want and we should be able to see that uh, I have it saved up here under my drafting views that populates when you make a drafting view template. Then I'm going to go down to my door and window schedule and I'm going to drag over my um, door head detail into my sheet. And now I'm going to just think about how I want to place this. So I'm place this just like so. This one here I can delete out. I know I don't want those. And with these door details, I'm going to double click in on this one and we can change its scale to match. And so that updates my file, which is really nice. And so now we have a door jam detail. Uh, we have a door head detail. Um, kind of generic. I'm going a little bit generic here on this page uh, because there's so many doors uh, being shown here. And if I wanted to, I really should make a separate page showing all of these, uh, especially for all these different doors. We have 10 different ones, a curtain wall and then plus all the others. Um, so I'm just going to go through and detail those out, throw in the windows and detail those out. Here in this window one, I was experimenting uh, by bringing in a Revit file under section, um, but I'm going to end up doing everything with CAD here. So don't forget to save and subscribe. And what I might do later is uh, put out a video for um, door and window schedules uh, with these legends here. All right. Hope uh, everybody's having a good one and I'll see you soon.